Controversy surrounding the Prime Minister's infiltrator and those with more children remark has reached the Supreme Court's doors. The CPIM has moved the top court seeking action against the Prime Minister, claiming that his comments were targeting one specific community and it amounts to hate speech. This it will be clubbed with other petitions pending before the Supreme Court seeking a crackdown on hate speech. Now, the CPIM's plea claims the Delhi Police and the Election Commission have not taken cognizance of the Prime Minister's comments despite a complaint being filed with them. The matter has issued, uh, in fact, reached the Supreme Court. Uh, in fact, Brinda Karat has, uh, as, as she was saying yesterday, she had moved, uh, complained uh, in the Mandir Mark police station, but she says that the police has not refused to take cognizance of it and has not acted, and uh, therefore uh, she is forced to move the Supreme Court. Today, in fact, this batch of petitions which have sought a crackdown on cra hate speech in the country is listed for hearing. So his, uh, her lawyer, uh, Subhash Chandran, ex uh, is uh, hoping to uh, get it mentioned and uh, li get, list get it listed urgently. Remember, this petition is not listed for hearing today, but uh, the lawyer uh, hopes that uh, it will be mentioned at the Supreme Court. Bench led by Justice Sanjeev Khanna will hear the matters. He will have to wait and watch whether uh, Vrinda Karan gets the hearing today itself or not. In the petition, she has said that uh, the Muslim community has been targeted. The Prime Minister's statement is uh, endangering uh, communal harmony. It's pitting one uh, religious community against the other. And also, it, it, it strikes at the very root of India's unity, integrity, and uh, national integration, and therefore has sought an action against the Prime Minister.